Assembled congregants, no worries to you. And also to you. Let us tweet. Peter, why is he naked in there? It's an environmental statement. Lois, please stop looking at my dead friend's dong. Listen, I made breakfast. Jay, slash genius bar employee, slash person with a yellow highlighter at the Best Buy exit. And now, a reading from the book of Just Jared. Death be the ultimate fail. Peter, I hate to do this here, but you were good friends with Hammer, and business at the brewery must go on. Does two ninety nine work? Because I gotta go diarrhea off the cliff. We now return to Marvel's The Offenders. Good morning, you see. I gathered y'all together, Kevin Spacey, Roman Polanski, <laughs> Woody Allen, me, Harvey Sauer. I, I, is Matt Damon coming? No, but he knows about all of us. He's very aware of what's going on here, you see. All right, guys, I gotta come up with some social media ideas for the brewery. What do you got? Oh, you want viral? You asked the right guy. You remember Leroy J? Here. Hang on a sec. Thank you. How about some fruit in the beer? Oh, no, guys, we, we need social media specific plans to reach a younger audience. You remember Charlie bit my finger? People with no attention span. We'll call it the Six Second Talk Show. Well, I guess that could work. But it's just so sad that young people can't pay attention to something longer than six sec. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Whoa. Whoa! What the hell, you guys? I was talking. You know, there's more to life than just what's on your phone. Wrong. All right, Six Second Talk Show in three, two. I'm Peter Griffin, and this is the Six Second Talk Show. My guest tonight is Joe Biden. And that's all the time we have. Thanks for watching. Good night. How was that? Yeah, it kind of dragged. Well, Congress is at it again. Good night. It's the Six Second Show. Our musical guest, Bare Naked Ladies. Get spin. I'd like to thank our musical guest, Bare Naked Ladies. Good night. Peter, I can't believe your talk show is such a huge hit for the brewery. And thanks to that, I'm now a huge social media star. Oh, my God. What the hell is that? Skin? Skin? Ah! We'll, we'll talk, talk later. later. Look, Peter, the reason I'm here is because of your six-second talk show. Now, I haven't had the time to watch it, but I hear it's the buzz of Silicon Valley. I want you and your family to visit us here as my guests so I can find out what the next big thing is. Oh, I, I got lots of ideas. I've been working on something called Look At It, Kick It, Silicon Valley. Oh, this is exciting. A family trip. Yeah, I love traveling. Except that trip to Europe where we spent most of our time trying to refold our map. All right, the museum is that way, so let's fold the map and go. Okay, a couple more. I'd be able to find the creases if somebody had folded it correctly last time. I did fold it correctly. No, nope, you didn't. And then you jammed it into a backpack, and now I'm in this mess. Don't blame me. You ripped it up when you were tearing through the backpack for your snacks. Okay, this is why I wanted to bring a globe. All right, you don't have to fold a globe. Who the hell would bring a globe on vacation? See, bud, we're... Welcome to Boop. As our name suggests, our mainframe connects to and powers virtually every server on the globe. Without Boop, there is no internet. Hey, Parker. Are we still on for the Samsung Galaxy Note meeting after lunch? Yep. Are, are the test results in? Yeah, but let's save it for the meeting. I'm gonna pee into electric urine and make the sparks go higher. I'm having so much fun. What the hell is going on? Our mainframe is having a meltdown! Hang on, let me flush. You in his penis out the entire time I was yelling at him. As a man who struggles with body dysmorphia, I couldn't help but be impressed by that kind of self-confidence. As I stood there being berated by this man, I couldn't help but notice his searching gaze. Years later, we would bump into each other at a small cafe in Rome and reminisce about Moto Homo. Peter, you've done some stupid things, but crashing the internet has to be the dumbest yet. Look at the chaos you've caused!
I have no idea how to drive with no one liking my posts. Well, I hate all your posts. Hello. Hello. Peter, Lois is right. This mess is all your fault. Settle down, Brian. I'm sure life will be just fine without... I have never been to Boston. Anyone here from the backfields of Pennsylvania, Ohio, or upstate New York? No. Then I have been Jebediah, son of Abner. How are we going to get back to the airport? There's no internet, which means there's no GPS, which means we can't use Uber. Okay, I have a crazy idea. Now, because you can't stare at your phone anymore, enjoy a disturbingly loud clip of Jimmy Fallon on Cab TV. Tonight, get ready to lose all respect for Al Pacino when I force him to play a game meant for children! This. This is why Uber. Now return to Kevin Can Wait on CBS. Well, that's not gonna work. Okay, everybody, don't panic. We'll just do what people did before the internet. We can play charades! Oh, you mean like your marriage? Chris, I told you that in confidence. Dad, you gotta do something. Nobody can live without the internet. Ah, you're right. This sucks. It's even worse than when I was room LB the internet. What are you talking about? We can do all the things we loved about the internet. We just gotta do it without technology. From now on, if you wanna tweet something, you do it the old-fashioned way. Write it on a piece of paper, staple it to a bird, and throw it out the door. Ah! Hey, do you follow people? Great news, Chris. I figured out how to recreate the best part of the internet. I've got pictures of five celebrities who you'd never believe used to be fat. Great, let's see them. Sure, buddy. But first, you have to watch this unwelcome pop-up ad. I don't want probiotics. Then press the skip ad button. Why should I do all this work? They're really pop-ups. This is a nightmare. Just tell me one of them. Kenan Thompson. That's not a surprise. Peter, what are you doing? Oh, I'm your Waze app today. You on your way to work? Yeah, I am. All right, you will be there in six minutes. Just start heading straight. Okay, sounds good. Would you like to upgrade to an ad-free experience for $4.99? No. Try new Domino's Pizza. Hey, Peter, who are these guys? Oh, this is just my looping gif of black teens reacting to... <laughs> All right, trying to be the internet is impossible. I wish I never peed on that server. You know, when my phone gets wet, I just put it in a bag of rice. Shut up, Meg. That's dumb. I've done that before. It works. <gasps> Chris, that's brilliant. We just need a big bag and a lot of rice. You... Voice system out of nothing is grueling, thankless, life-threatening work. But just remember, we're doing this so that one day, future commuters can be hassled by panhandlers and amateur breakdancers. What about public masturbators? Especially public masturbators. Now let's go die underground. Yeah! I think we fixed the internet. Something's coming through. It looks like an ad. Smithwick's artisanal pretzels. Son of a bitch. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you got the internet. H hold on. I'm sorry. Submitted for your approval. A restaurant full of people so distracted by their phones, they're unaware that they're all about to go up in smoke. Just like the Fox Tuesday. Is it me or does David Ortiz look just like the mom on Good Times? Oh, Peter, that's racist. No, no, look. I take it back. That's not racist. That's just accurate. Hey, guys, guess who's got the keys to a story? Especially the funny part. You really delivered on your promise. Well, all right. Who's up for water skiing? Hell yeah! All right! Yeah, let's do it! Oh, that sounds amazing. I love boats. Boats are my thing. Anything to get out on the open water. Enjoy the salt air. To... Oh, they're already gone. No, you didn't widen enough. But you still... Our top story. Authorities have uncovered a mob-run prescription drug ring targeting Goldman's Pharmacy. The scam involved fraudulent prescriptions submitted for dead people.
Pharmacist Mort Goldman failed to report to authorities for questioning. A $10,000 bounty has been offered for his return. $10,000? That's Pratt, I hear you have a new movie out. So, Chris, you're from Seattle. Chris, what was it like working with Amy Poehler? Hey, Chris, anything you can tell us about Guardians 3? Chris! 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 Well, Chris that's Pratt, the always we have a pleasure. Chris Pratt. Take, Take it away, away multi-racial swing guys. modern band. Yes, to the Brian Stewie Griffin Show, stay at the W, Times Square. You gotta cut to the right. No, no, it's counterintuitive. You gotta cut left. I know how to drive. <laughs> Be going water skiing today. Shut up, Joe. Hey, you want some help? I do this all the time. Get back in your car with your wife. <laughs> when you're going backwards, everything's the opposite. Oh, really? Thanks, driving instructor. I feel like everyone watching knows I'm incapable of pleasing my wife sexually. Now cut the wheel! Cut the wheel! No, the other way! Ah, hell, we're gonna be on the internet. You know what? Screw it. Getting wet. Oh, come on. What's the worst that could happen?